But Kev, just three months away, I mean, for you, that's got to feel like three years or something, right? What, what's it been like for you during this uh, extended layoff? Retirement. It's been retirement. I've been retired for the past three months. Now I'm back at it like a jackrabbit, baby. <laughs> It's funny because we do hear, you know, people say, hey, I get better when I'm, when I'm not in a camp, right, because I'm not preparing for a specific guy. I can work on things. Have you experienced that at all, or have you just been maybe resting a little bit? Nah, I mean, uh, it took, took a little time off, not much. You know, it's like I, I, got, I got a couple tattoos, so, you know, you get a couple days off when you get the tattoos. Uh, but not much, you know, not much chilling has been going on. Uh, we've been training, and people say they get better when they don't have a person coming up, and that's that's good for them. You know, and it's like, but I always train like I don't have a person coming up, so it's like I'm always getting better, uh, little by little, one percent a day, right? That's what they say. Um, but no, 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 no. It's 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 been the grind. The grind has been real for Brunson. We know what to expect. We know what to go in there and do. And if he changes it up a little bit, that's all. That's all Henry Hoof. It's nothing to do with Derek Brunson. So props to Henry Hoof. <laughs> Main event. Uh, I mean, you're, you're getting a taste of it, right? I mean, you've, you've, I feel like you've had the public attention for a while, and you've had the media and that sort of thing. But um, does this feel any different? Is there any more that you, that you like or don't like about the experience? Yeah, I don't like the idea of fighting for 25 minutes. Let's, let's, let's just be real here. You know, it's like you hear Derek Lewis talking about it all the time. That's not his ideal of a fight. You know, it's like it's just the truth. You know, like nobody wants to fight for 25 minutes. Where I'm from, you're lucky if they fight for two and a half. You know what I mean? So 25 minutes is a very, very long time. Uh, other than that, nah. I mean, uh, the social media is pretty cool, though, because I had this guy get online earlier, and he was running his mouth, and I was like, look, I'm willing to give out three free shirts to the best three comments on his page. The man deleted his stuff. He blocked everybody, you know, changed his name and everything. It's good stuff, you know, and so it's like I enjoy that. I enjoy that aspect of uh, getting a little bit more followers on social media and stuff like that. And uh, the main event status is pretty cool, but 25 minutes of fighting, you know, it's like you could have made me co-main. I would have got a lot of followers, and I only had to fight for 15. <laughs> did it require you to prepare any different? I mean, you sound kind of a gym rat anyway, but, I mean, so did you have to do anything different to get ready for 25 over 15? The grind was real, you know, and I'm going to keep saying that, and I'm going to keep keep saying that the grind was real. It's something that I believe the whole time getting ready for the Derrick Brunson fight. As soon as they gave me the opportunity that I might be able to fight a wrestler, somebody like that, I had to, I took on the mindset that the grind was real. So, yeah, it's a lot longer in the gym, you know. It's like versus where I would do this workout, and I'd be like, all right, I can really chill from here on out. It's like, no, like the full hour, you had to go hard, you know. It's like I just had to go hard the whole time, you know, versus I like to normally relax and chill, you know do a small workout, go outside, smoke my reefer, come back and do something else. It's like it wasn't like that. It was hard workout, hard workout, hard workout, go home, smoke a reefer, fall asleep. And it's like I couldn't go on dates. I couldn't play a video game half the time. I couldn't do anything. It's like because we were working, you know, and it's like, and golly, I love to work, but that hard, sheesh. <laughs> So does that mean after this you're lobbying for all co-main events moving forward? Just like, I don't yeah. want any more. Just give me the co-main every time? Yeah, I look, look, you can make me the, the co-main champ. That's how you can do it, you know what I mean? Make me the co-main champ, you know? It's like, I don't need a belt if I got to fight for 25 minutes. Izzy, you can keep your belt. You really want to fight. We can fight as a co-main event. You don't have to worry about losing another championship fight. There you go, bucko. <laughs> Maybe the, uh, the co mainiest mf -er or something like that? Man, hey, yeah, I love the way that sounds. <laughs> Listen, you had a great great 2020, obviously, you know, set records and that sort of thing, but I, I got to ask, I mean, was the highlight being MMA junkie male fighter of the year? I mean, that's that's got to really Come be on. the best thing in, in your life. Come on. Between that and the Schmo Award, I was the man. You know what I mean? I was the man. Yeah, I was I was happy with all the, the I guess we just say accolades, right? Yeah, all the accomplishments and stuff like that that I got. You know, that was that was amazing. Uh I've been following MMA Junkie for a long time. So to get fighter of the year for MMA Junkie, that felt amazing. To get fighter of the year from a couple different organizations, that felt amazing. The only person that didn't give it to me was the UFC. And damn, that would have been nice because I would have got me a little Epsby, right? <laughs> but uh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. And uh, 2020 was amazing. 2021 has potential to be even better. It's like uh, 2020, I was supposed to fight this same month in London against Jack Marshman. Now I'm fighting somebody top 10, the UFC, middleweight division. Granted, it's for 25 freaking minutes. Hopefully, I finish them in two. You know what I mean? Because I ain't trying to fight that long. But, um, yeah, it's amazing, dude. It's amazing. You know, it's, look how far we can come in a year. Yeah, it is amazing what you've done. This could be a big one for you. Um, you talk about what's at stake. Is this a little bit personal to me? You guys have a little bit of a little bit of history together, right? Is, is it personal? It's not really personal. I mean, I guess you could say we used that to sell it the whole time, but it's not really personal. Let's be real. If it was personal, I would have smacked him that day in the airport after I didn't get the fight and he got the fight and I was still butthurt about it. You know, it's like, it's not that personal. He said little things here and he said little things there, but the people online, they say way worse. 
Uh, at the end of the day, it's just competition. If it was personal, I would have smoked that for a long time ago. You know what I mean? If it was really that personal. You guys are going to know when it's personal. When you see the green machine sitting outside, call the tow truck company and call the police. You know what I mean? That's when it's personal. Uh, you want that car out of here as fast as possible. Nice. Last thing for me, g give me an idea here. I mean, the, the goal, obviously, is always to win, but it's a big moment for you. I mean, do you feel like you got to go do it with certain style? I mean, we've come to expect this this talking or this, you know, nah. something special out of you. Do you feel like you got to do that, or is it just getting your hand raised? Nah, I mean, as long as I go out there and I do what Kev does, it's special. You know, it's like if you watch every fight that I've ever had, you know, win, lose, draw, whatever the case may be, Kev goes out there and fights. Kev is Kev. You know what I mean? Usually you put me away when I'm tired. You know what I mean? I've been putting in strength and conditioning and stuff lately. Shout out to CD Power Train. I'm not going to get tired. You know, and it's like, and if I do get tired, it's probably because I fought way too hard for the amount of time that I was fighting. And that's me too. So it is what it is. We'll take it how it comes. And uh, does it need to be devastating fashion? It doesn't need to be, but it will be. <laughs> when you saw uh, Paulo Costa was out of that fight with Rob Whitaker. Did you think to yourself, man, I, that's like, what, three months, I think? Or maybe even just a month? That's what? Robert Whitaker, Apollo Castillo, that's April 17th? 24. No, yeah, 17th. April 17th is March right now. So April, that was right away. It was next. It was perfect. It was perfect. I'm already in shape for the Brunson fight. I could have went in and took the Whitaker fight. It made sense. Uh, you know, I mean, I thought Apollo Castillo, I, he literally should have waited three more days before he announced that he couldn't take the fight. You know what I mean? Had he waited until after I had already beat Brunson, then I'd be fighting Robert Whitaker next. You know, now instead, Kevin Gaslam gets to fight Robert Whitaker. And Kevin Gaslam's coming off like, what, like three, four losses? And he finally got one dub, and now he gets to go fight the ex-champ? This is bull crap. You know what I mean? It's like, but they were supposed to fight already, so I'm, I'm happy that they finally get the fight. Props to those guys. You realize that if you win on Saturday night, it's probably 25-minute fights forever. No, it's not. Back no, it's not. Man. I'm going. I'm going after this fight. I'm going to 170 pounds and starting my career all over again. <laughs> Speaking of 170 pounds, I wanted to ask you. You were on the Joe Rogan Experience, and you, you mentioned about how Hamza should have just sort of rolled on with COVID. Now you've seen how bad he apparently has it, and that he had to pull out of that fight again. Do you regret those comments, or do you still stand? No. Up? Why would I regret those comments? He still looks pretty in all his pictures. You know, and it's like. Everybody says he feels bad. I had seen him like literally like two days before he said he felt bad. And we were about to low-key fight inside the lobby all over again. You know what I mean? It's like he doesn't feel, I mean, he didn't feel that bad that hour. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know. It is what it is. I think the guy's personally getting better. So when he comes back and he has to fight that tough of competition, he could continue to smash the way he's been smashing. But I could be wrong. I'm known for being wrong. Hell, I didn't even graduate from high school. I'm known for being wrong, you know? Well, uh, I'd love you to expand on that story. You guys nearly had to fight in the lobby because I know you had the well, incident at the ho uh, the hotel. Or yeah, it was just it wasn't like you know it wasn't like a, like like almost fight. It was just like literally you know like I seen him, he seen me, and he and I walked in and I was like, oh look, my best friend's here. Granted, there is a language barrier, so he probably didn't understand like I was like being sarcastic. And he was like, oh, you want to be friends now? I started laughing. And I was like, fuck no, never. Well, I don't want to be friends with you. And then somebody behind me was like, Kevin, there's a lot of them, and it's just one of you. And I was like, I'm not worried about it. I drove out here. I got dildos in the car. I'm ready to fuck that boy. So it's just, you know, it's I'm never really worried about these guys. You know, it's like, um, I hope he gets better. I'd love to fight him one day. You know, who's to say he's the same after he gets better, though? So, you know, it's like, I don't mean no, I don't mean nothing hard on these guys when they catch COVID and they don't feel better right away. You know, I don't, I don't mean anything hard on them. I just, I guess you could say I mean more hard on the fans to sit up there and boast and brag about these guys all day, every day. And then they don't do the same thing that I do. And I'm like, damn, boast and brag about me a little bit. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. But, no, I don't regret it at all. You mentioned uh, Israel Adesanya losing another championship fight. What did you think of him against Jan Blazovic? I, I, think that he, uh, I think that he said he didn't try and put on weight, but I think that he put on weight. You know, and it's like he may have came in at 200 pounds. I think that he did a normal weight cut, like, you know, which was smart. It's a smart thing to do. Take it how you normally would take it, right? Um, he looked a little slower than he normally does, right? Usually he's faster than that. He didn't look as fast. Am I wrong? I could be right here, right? He didn't look as fast as he normally does. Uh, he got beat in the striking aspect. He got beat in the grappling aspect. He got beat, you know? And it's like, uh, and, you know, in a lot of other sports, when you're a champ and you lose, you're no longer the champ anymore. Granted, he went up a weight class, but shit, the dude lost. He's officially, uh, dude, is there any other fighters right now that has done just about every combat sport and loss in every combat sport. Is there? So I guess you could say he's a true loser. Last thing for me, if you win this weekend, <laughs> if you win this weekend, it would seem likely that your next fight would either be Till or Vittori or yeah. Whitaker and Gaslam. So when you look at those four guys, 
anyone stand out to you? Do you which matchup that you prefer? Man, I take a uh, take a uh, take a uh, take cookies for three hundred. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, no, um, I don't know, man. Uh, I feel like I jumped up to where I am now. You know what I mean? It's like I was working, putting in work, putting in work, putting in work. Yeah, granted, I had a lot of wins, and then all of a sudden it was just like boom, top ten. You know, it's like, yeah, I, I beat uh, Jacare. You know, legendary Jacare. Uh, and you talk about me fighting these top five guys next. Amazing. I would love to fight every single one of them, you know, and it's like whenever you guys want me to fight them, I'll fight them. No big deal. But I don't want to sit up here and play that game that all these guys try and play. Like, I don't, oh, I don't know if I want to fight that guy. I don't know if I want to fight that guy. I don't know if it's a good time to fight that guy. Whoever they have for me next, just give it to me. You know, it's like uh, if it's Robert, it's Robert. If it's Paulo, it's Paulo. You know, if it's Teal, if it's Teal. If it's Vittori, fuck yeah, it's Vittori. You know, if it's, uh, hell, if it's sitting on the sideline for the next six months, that's something I don't want to do, so I'll switch weight classes. You know, it's like I've kept the diet really clean this time because I'm ready for whatever. So, uh, shit, I just want to beat up Bronson. <laughs> the only thing for me, real quick and easy, since, since tattoos seem to be a big part of your life and I know people are interested, what did you get? And if you don't mind sharing, uh, can we see what you, uh, what you got and yeah. what the significance was? Yeah, so right after the fight, I went and got this bullet right here, right? And uh, it's like the same bullet that you see on, like, uh, when you're playing, like, Mario and stuff like that, right? But it's a 9mm shell. It's my favorite gun to shoot is a 9mm. shot a 9mm a few times. Don't do forensics. Uh, so, yeah, I got that on the right arm because the right arm has been like a sniper all year long. You know, it's been a bomb. It's, it's been a bullet. It's been everything that a lethal weapon needs to be. It's been killing folks left and right. You look at most of my finishes, it came from that right hand. I never realized how right-handed I was until I noticed that. So the bullet just signified, you know, exactly what I'm going to do to these guys. And if you know the game, you know that these, these right here go boom. So when I catch it, I just want it to go boom. And then I got my last name on my shin because, like I tell my coach all the time, I didn't graduate from high school, so I can't remember my name sometimes. So I got my last name on my shin so I can remember it, remember how to spell it when the time goes wrong. And so now you got the tattoo. Does it, uh, if you finish something with that, does it play into the, the celebration now? <laughs> the celebration? You know what? I haven't thought of one yet, but I might go home and get my little beatbox together and come up with a nice little celebration win. Shout out to Bumpbox. They just dropped that little that, uh, new store in the gallery in Houston. I can't wait to go. You know I love Houston. That's it? That's it? All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Hey, happy St. Patty's Day. Where's your green? Where's where, where, this is complete BS. <laughs>